The cobble fell. You're functioning as the surrogate for TJ and me, but you're also the egg donor and as our mother so adequately pointed out, according to the laws of the state of New York, you are legally the baby's mother until you relinquish your parental rights. Not relinquish. Terminate. That's what these papers say over and over and over again. Terminate. You want me to terminate my parental rights? Something relinquished can be taken back. Something terminated can't. It's a pretty big difference, don't you think? In order for me to legally be the baby's mother, you have to terminate your rights. This is what we agreed to in the beginning. Let me just, let me get this straight. So you and TJ saw the interview I did where I poured my heart out to the entire world and this is your response? Okay, I don't understand what the issue is here. You're about to give birth. You were going to have to sign these papers at that time to give TJ and me the baby. Why not just sign them now when things are calm and there's time? Possible reason could you have not to? We say Brenda's disappeared. You mean he escaped Pendle? Oh, that's a good question. How do you escape from somewhere when you weren't there to begin with? Now, what are we talk about? We arrested this guy, you and me. We put him in a car. We watched him get taken to Pendle. And I visited him there more than once. According to Pendle's records, Brennan was never in their custody. There's no digital record of him, no paper trail, no video surveillance. He was never an intake, and he was never assigned a cell. It's like Brennan's association with Pentonville has completely vanished. Okay, well, there has to be witnesses over there, right? That's the one that spoke to him, no? Yeah, you'd think. Maybe I can rustle up the CEO or two, an inmate, maybe, that can place him there. But at the end of the day, it's not proof. It's just hearsay. I'm showing you the best part. PCPD's records have been purged also, both physically and digitally. Oh, this is crazy. Who has the power to erase the records of an inmate's entire existence and by the silence of that many people? So I understand that you have a, uh, a long-standing connection to Congressman McConkie. You went to Princeton with my father. I've known him my whole life, but your family also goes way back with him. Well, Tracy and my grandmother do, yes. But I'd rather not get Tracy involved in this because she has a tendency to stick her nose in things that are none of her business. And my grandmother, she is not doing well, so I'd rather not ask her. But from how it sounds, your connection to McConkie is closer. Yes, probably true, but you still haven't told me what you want. An introduction? Didn't you meet him at the 4th of July party? It was, it was very brief. All we really did was exchange small talk. What I need is some FaceTime. And why is that, Michael? I'd rather not say. You're asking me to exploit a decades-long family friendship with the congressman for your mysterious purposes? I am sorry, Michael, but I am going to need a lot more information before I put McConkey on the spot. I need to ask him for a favor. Favor? Is this for ELQ? Is ELQ in trouble? Is it a worry? Should I be worried about Crimson? No, no, they're both fine. Then if it's not a business matter, then it's personal. I need McConkie to help my mother. Well, Nina was keeping you all to herself and Nixon balls. The rest of us thought you were dead. And the five families were circling, ready to take over your territory. With you gone, they were all racing for the opportunity, Sonny. Anyone who might stick a claim in my business would be a target. That's right. So Jason and I had to make a show of strength to prove to them that the territory was in safe hands. But Jason was hurt, and he couldn't make it to the meeting with the five families. So I was the only option. I already know all that. What I want to know is how the FBI charged you with RICO violations. Someone in the meeting is wearing a wire. The FBI has a recording of me announcing that I was taking over control of your entire organization. That was a long time ago. Why they did it in now? Because they had another use for the recording. They used it as leverage over Jason.